Hey guys, so today I have a haul from Andy's Brick Shop, which is a secondhand Lego store near Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I didn't get any sets, although there were some really cool ones that were pretty tempting. Although, I, but I did get some other nice things. So I'm just going to go ahead and move my sig figs out of the way. And uh, I think I'm going to pull the camera back a little bit, get some more space here. And just pull the bag to the side, I guess, and start pulling some stuff out. So I'll start with these two bags right here. That's just one bag. This is two bags. Uh, so these things right here were free. Um, so each person uh, going to the store today, for some reason, was given a free bag of bricks. I mean, you got the bag and you got to pick the bricks, but you did get to fill a bag for free, which is pretty nice. And since I went with my dad, we each got one, which is very nice. Uh, so I got a lot of browns and grays in these. So, free Lego. Really can't complain about these. Uh, pretty nice pieces in there. And uh, I got a few of these pieces, actually, uh, right here. Um, I, I really don't know what they were from, but it's just an interesting piece, so I thought I would get some of those. And um, the main thing that I got is right here. This is a big bag of bricks. Um, yeah, it's pretty big. Uh, this is the biggest bag that you can fill. It was $35, but I think I got a fair amount of bricks in here. I'm not sure how many exactly, but it is definitely a pretty good amount. Got a lot of these uh, dark gray plates, and um, got a bunch of brown as well. I have a Ninjago skeleton head in here, just because, uh, I don't know, saw it and thought it would kind of be cool to add to the collection. I do have some interesting pieces in here um, just that I kind of picked up just that I would have. Like This is like a um, dark red cone or half cone piece. Uh, there are some greens in here, but not too many. Another one of these weird, sh weirdly shaped pieces here. Um, this strange color piece, I really can't tell what that is. Uh, some arches. I did get... Um, some of these, uh, you can see these dark blue pieces here. Uh, these have stickers on them from the 2009 AAT set, and I bought uh, 2009 AAT that is incomplete, and it was missing the stickers, so I thought, well, they had both of them, so I decided to get both, so I could just replace the pieces that are on that set with the ones with the correct sticker. And that's really it in the bag. Um, I don't know if I really want to dump this out, because there is a ton of pieces in here, and I will wash all of these, um because they're not exactly clean, because uh, the big, it's just this big tub of bricks, there's like three of them, and it, it was kind of dirty, honestly, so these bricks will all be washed um, using my little cleaning system, which I will actually have a video about, I don't know if, which one is going to come out first, but I will wind up linking to it in the card right about now. So, everything, um, including those small bags, will be washed, uh, just so that my parts are clean. And, um, got four minifigures, uh, because there was a buy three, get one free deal. And I thought, you know, there are some minifigures in there that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom the camera in a little bit, because why not? Uh, that's the first one, Admiral Akbar, is Admiral Akbar, you know. Just, just Admiral Akbar. Uh, this guy, right here, is the, uh, 2000, or not, I don't know when he first came out, but he came out in the 2008, uh, Stormtrooper Battle Pack. And I got this guy because I have the battle pack, and I also had a just bonus uh, fourth stormtrooper. And I sharpened over two of them, and so I now I only have two plain ones, and I wanted to just have three so I could have a complete battle pack again. So I decided to pick one of these guys up. So um, I still only have three when I originally had four, but I just wanted to complete the battle pack. He was $8, which is a little pricey, but you know, that's okay. Just really wanted to complete the battle pack again. Uh, this guy right here, just uh, an original clone, uh, Phase 2 Clone Trooper, because it's an original Phase 2 Clone Trooper. I absolutely love these guys. I think I'm up to like 23 of them now. And this guy right here wound up being the free one, since he was the cheapest. This is just Wedge Antilles. I absolutely love Wedge as a character. And although it's not the uh, more detailed new one, it is still a nice little minifigure. And for free, really can't complain again. Free Lego is good Lego. And that is it for the haul, so I think I'm just going to rearrange here and then uh, close out the video from there. So that is everything uh, from my haul from Andy's Brick Shop. 
And I can say it is a really fun store. I had a great time, and there are some really cool old Star Wars sets that I really want to go back and get. And he actually does buy uh, old Lego, so I'm planning on selling him some stuff, and I think I'll uh, trade it in and get some older Star Wars sets. So uh, that won't be for a little while, but I'll probably have another haul video from Andy's Brick Shop, but not too far from now, probably by the end of the summer. Um, but that is it for this haul. If you guys enjoyed, a like is very much appreciated. And if you guys enjoyed this haul, consider subscribing, which you can do by clicking on the round end screen element in the top left. And if you want to see more of my past LEGO hauls, you can click on the playlist that will be popping up in the top right. And the two videos popping up on the bottom of your screen are just other videos that I think you will like, so feel free to click around the end screens and check out some of my other videos. And that will be it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.